Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Joyce, and I give content for Canada Immigration. Uh, in case you're new here, thank you so much. Uh, I, I truly appreciate. So, guys, previously, I think two days ago, we did a video here on uh, how to apply through Express Entry. And on the comments, a lot of you said that we now need to uh, do another video on how to apply through the provinces. So uh, because there are several ways of coming to Canada through permanent residency, whereby you can come to Canada to live here permanently. And you can also be able to bring your family along. So uh, we say that under express entry is actually the umbrella of all PR pathways. Well, not all. There is one that is exempted. But at least majority of the uh, permanent residency pathways require you to apply through express entry. And I did that video and I would, I'll put it on the description of this one so that at least you start from there if you haven't and then you follow with this one. And now we say that for you to get uh, that permanent residency, you can either decide to do it express entry alone and go all the way. And this depends if you have the required points for express entry. But the challenge with a lot of us is, is that we do not have enough points to allow us to just do the express entry and get our permanent resident. And for that reason, there are other pathways that can help you get the PR. And these pathways, we said one of them is to apply through the provinces. They are called provincial nominee programs. So Canada has got 13 provinces. Uh, all of them are, uh, all of them have PNP, programs apart from two. It's only Quebec and Nunavut. Quebec and Nunavut, they don't participate in the provincial nominee programs. So how do the other programs, how do the other provinces participate? Well, there are a few things that we need to highlight before we explain the whole process. First of all, you need to know that it's not all the provinces that require you to do um, to do the express entry, like I said, there's one of them, the only one that you do not need to do express entry. You can just go direct to the um, to the uh, province, and this province is none other than Saskatchewan. So Saskatchewan has got a, a unique immigration pathway, which is uh, for um, uh, which is for people that have got careers or skills that are in high demand in that province. So if you, have, if you have got those skills that that province requires, some unique ones that I'll, I'll, I'll do a separate video to explain to you how to apply through Canada, um, I mean Saskatchewan Provincial Nominee Program that is for uh, high demand skills, you do not need the express entry. And those people that do not use express entry apply through paper. You do not have to do online. You do everything on. Uh, you can do everything on paper. Finish with the province. They nominate you. They give you a certificate. You you go ahead and apply for for your permanent resident through the the permanent resident federal portal, which I'll share on the on the description, and you finish with that province. All the other provinces. The, the remaining how many? 11. 11 of them will require you to use express entry. So you can you can apply this um, you can apply this uh, PNP through two ways. There are two ways that you can do it. Uh, so I said you can do it through paper based, and it's only one of them that you need to to do paper based. That is Saskatchewan. But you all for all of them you need to do medical examination and police clearance. And these ones have got fees that are charged on them. I'll say about the fees towards the end of this video. So you either do paper-based or online through express entry. So through how you apply through express entry, there are also two ways for you to apply through express entry. The first one is that you can contact the province directly, okay? Once you, you contact the province directly, you create an account with the province. Let's say, for example, now we have 11 provinces that have PNP. 
you need to create an account for each province separately. There is no single application that covers for all the provinces. Actually, each province has got their own unique requirements for their own PNP. Some provinces are easier than others. But normally what I advise is that apply to all the 11, actually let's call them, yeah, all the 11 provinces, create an account for each one of them. The same way we said about the rural and northern immigration pilots. We say that you go to all the 11 rural communities and create accounts to all of them. Make sure you check that video for rural. On this one for PNP, create a, uni a, a, a unique account for each one of them. This is the, the first way you can do it. And then after you create that account, the province, if they like you, if they like your profile, they are going to, uh, to select you. And once they select you, they will, they'll, they'll help you to boost your points. Because remember why you're going to the province is because you didn't have enough points that would take you through express entry. Because there's a way you can do express entry without requiring the, the provinces to help you. So those of you that are going to the provinces is because you have got very few points. Actually, through uh, provinces, you can apply even when you have 340 points. Between 340 points to 400 all the way, as low as 340, you can apply to the provinces. So you are going to the provinces because your, prov your points are very low. They couldn't qualify you through express entry. And so you go to the provinces, create an account, let them select you, okay? Let them nominate you. Once they nominate you, they will give you a whole 600 points. And now, once you get the 600 points, you automatically qualify for express entry. And now you can continue with applying for your permanent residency through the federal government. The other way for you to apply through the, through the uh, uh, PNP is that you can start by creating express entry. You go to the express entry and click all the provinces apart from Quebec and Nunavut. Say you go ticking and say that you want to get nominated for all the provinces. Once you do that on the express entry, the provinces, they normally come to the pool of express entry and check who has selected them. Let's say, for example, Ontario. Ontario will keep checking on the pool to see if Joyce has ticked Ontario. Because if you haven't ticked Ontario on the express entry, they won't select you because you are not interested in living in Ontario. So that's why I normally say select all the provinces. And then the, when the provinces come to the pool and they like you, according to, a, to the requirements they want for, the, for their provinces and the people that they want in their provinces, they will now select you from the pool and nominate you and give you 600 points. And then they ask you, to go and apply for your PR. Well, something very important here. There are some provinces that need you to have a job offer, while others do not require you to have a job offer. Those of you that have been with me for a longer time, I know you. we, we used to sing this song in our live sessions last year, and used to say the five provinces that do not require you to have a job offer. They are unique ones. Ontario Immigration Nominee Program. Ontario, they have a program that does not require you to, to have, um, uh, to have uh, a job offer. We also have Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program. They do not require you to have a, a job offer. Remember, we also, under Saskatchewan, we have the Saskatchewan Occupation in Demand, the one that we said that that one you can use it to. You do not need to go through express entry. Well, we are saying that Saskatchewan PNP does not, or INP does not require you to, to have a job offer. As long as you have the requirements that they need, which, which actually their language proficiency is as low as four, okay? And their minimum points is actually 60 out of 110. So Saskatchewan, I will tell you what I like about Saskatchewan. The other province that you do not need a job offer is Nova Scotia, Domini Program. Nova Scotia, you do not need to have a job offer. And then we have uh, Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program. You also do not need to have a job offer. Actually, Manitoba is very good. As long as you have somebody 
not just a relative or even a sibling, even a friend. They say as long as you know someone, even if someone from your home village, they came to Manitoba, they settled there, they have a PR. If they, if they, you just say that you know them, they will, they might nominate you. You have very high chances of getting nominated. Then, um, lastly, we said, oh, we have said all of them. Huh? Yeah. So those five provinces do not require you to have a job offer. So um, what else did we forget? So something else we might need to mention under this uh, PNP is that we have got, of course, the, the shortest, the, the, the shortest PNP that you can have is actually Prince Edward Island. Prince Edward Island is the shortest PNP that takes only six months. That's the, top, the shortest you can take. So PE, Prince Edward, is the shortest. Um, and I think and I think that is all for PNP. So once you get selected by the provinces, they, uh, they give you a certificate of nomination and then they ask you to apply for your PR. So it's as simple as that. I'll share a link of this on the description, please. Uh, so you don't have to remind me on the comments because some of you are, Jesus, where is the link? Sometimes I forget, but I'll always come back and fix it. So um, I'll share it after I upload this video. And then I want you to check and please try your best to apply. Tomorrow, tomorrow or the day after, we have to do a separate video on how to apply to individual provinces, especially the ones that do, the five that do not need a job offer. That one, we have to do a separate video. Okay, so please like this video, subscribe. Those of you that are in abroad, share this video with your relatives back home, as long as they, especially the ones that have the skills, and let them apply. I wish you all the best. God bless you. See you in the next one. Bye.